mental health, children and adolescents. Andy Johnson, Minnesota State University. We are looking at mood disorders today. Mood disorders include depression or major depressive disorder and bipolar disorder. That is depression alternating with mania. It is hard to diagnose in adolescence for a variety of reasons. We've alluded to that before. The turbulent nature of adolescence, the natural mood swings, it is difficult. However, the first onset of major depressive disorder is often found in adolescence. About 21% of females, 13% of males have experienced a major depression or major depressive episode at some point in their lives. That does not mean currently, that means at some point in their lives. In the same way, it's estimated about 20% of adults have experienced a mood disorder. <clears throat> Some of the symptoms, overwhelming sadness or irritability, angry, crabby all the time, diminished interest in things or lack of pleasure in doing almost all things, abnormal weight loss or weight gain, <clears throat> change of more than 5% of body weight in a month, either a significant increase or decrease in appetite. Disrupted sleep patterns, sleeping too much, not being able to sleep at all. Physical agitation, physical movements and behaviors appear abnormally either slowed or agitated or sped up. Lack of energy, easily fatigued. Feelings of inappropriate guilt, worthlessness, and hopelessness, unable to think clearly, diminished ability to make decisions, thoughts of death or suicide, reoccurring thoughts, suicide ideation. That means thinking about suicide all the time without a particular plan or intention to do so. And a change from the person's normal mood and this causes some sort of impairment. They're not able to function, either socially, academically, or in some other area. Now, bipolar disorder is severe depression with manic episodes. It used to be called manic depressive. It's characterized, again, by severe depression alternating with distinct periods of mania. A person has an abnormally elevated or expansive mood or an irritable mood. We forget that both depression and mania has that irritability factor. Some of the symptoms, inflated self-esteem or grandiosity, decreased need for sleep, more talkative or feeling pressure to keep talking, ideas going all over the place, flight of ideas or subjective experiences, distractibility, attention drawn to this, that, or the other thing, unimportant or irrelevant stimuli, increased goal activity, either socially at work or sexually, excessive involvement in pleasurable activities that have a high potential for painful consequences, unrestrained buying sprees, sexual indiscretion, foolish business investments. Some of the symptoms and behaviors we may see in children and adolescents with bipolar disorder. And again, expansive mood or irritable mood. Ugh. Depression, rapidly changing mood swings, lasting a few hours to a few days. And adolescents, the mood swings occur more rapidly than adults. Explosive, lengthy, destructive rages. Separation, anxiety, defiance of authority, hyperactivity, agitation, and distractibility. And again, we have to determine between the naughty boys, the naughty girls, and what is a mental disorder. Cravings for carbohydrates, excessive involvement in many projects and activities, impaired judgment, impulsivity, racing thoughts, pressure to keep talking, daredevil behaviors, inappropriate or precocious sexual behavior, delusions and hallucinations, and grandiose belief in one's own ability. I'm going to be a rock star, a movie star. I have some uh, activities and mini lessons you may wish to check out.